Having done the payment summaries, it's now time to do the next two things. One is to start the new financial year and also to load the payroll tables. If I click on file, I get a drop down menu and towards the bottom I have start a new year. If I hover the mouse over it, it will ask me do I want to start a new financial year? No, I want to start a new payroll year. If I click start a new payroll year, it will ask me do I want to do a session report. If I do, I'll print the session report. If I don't, I'll just go straight to the new year. What I'd also do, if I hadn't already done one, would be to do a backup. If I click backup, it will ask me do I want to back up the company file and Empowered Services Centre only? Yes. And do I want to check the company file for errors? I'm a creature of habit. I always check the company file for errors. Click continue. That's it. It found no errors. Click OK. And it then asks me what do I want to call it. Rather than have the MYOB 0822, which is the month and day, I'm going to simply recall it payroll 2013 zip and save it like that. Having done the backup, I can then continue. It says it will erase all the payroll history. It is not kidding. I'll click continue. It then says which payroll year has just ended and when is your new payroll year, 2014? Absolutely. Click continue. It then asks, and this is the third time it asks, if you've made a backup copy of your data and have put it in a safe place, click start the new payroll year. If you've made a backup and click start, that's it. We're now ready to start the new payroll year. If I go back to the card file and look at one of my cards in the cards list, for example, Harry Lee, and I look in his payroll details, in his pay history, there's nothing in July, there's nothing in his year to date. It wipes out all the records. If I need to print a payment summary or reprint a payment summary, I would need to go back to the payment summaries folder, find his PDF and reprint it from there. The other thing I need to do is to go up to the setup at the top and look at the general payroll information which tells me my current payroll year ends on June the 30th, 2014. That's the next year, that's fine. Click OK. And also under setup, I need to load the new payroll tax tables. MYOB sends out, for those people on cover, payroll tax tables roughly about the week prior to the 30th of June. If I click load payroll tax tables, it will ask, are you on cover? We'll keep your ta payroll tax tables up to date. If I've already got them installed, I will simply go load tax tables and that's it. My current tax tables will be updated. I'm now ready to start processing for the next payroll year.